13 WREX, made in Rockford for 50 years. You're watching Rockford's News Leader, 13 WREX. Live from Rockford, this is 13 News at 6. President Bush signs a tax relief package today. He says it'll light a fire under the economy could put more money in your pocket immediately. Good evening and welcome to 13 News at 6. I'm Eric Wilson. I'm Danny Maxwell. Tax relief is on the way after the president signs off on cuts worth more than $300 billion. A local tax preparer says the big winners are people with children. 13 News reporter Pat McCraney is here with more. Pat. Well, Eric and Danny, people who filed for the child tax credit last year could see a $400 check in the mail as soon as July. But other people will get a break, too. You got more of your own money to spend so that this economy can get a good win behind it. The president signed the $350 billion tax cut in the East Room of the White House. It's the third largest in U.S. history. H.R. Block. And it's got the phones ringing at H&R Block in Rockford. First thing this morning, we already had folks wanting to know what it was, when it's coming, and how much it was going to be. Coffee says the child tax credit will go from $600 per child to $1,000, but you don't have to wait until next April to see some of that money. The government will give you the $400 difference in a couple of months. You get part of it now and the rest of it when you file your return in the spring. Also, married couples filing jointly will get a break, too. Right now, they pay more tax per person than if they were single filing separately. That so-called marriage penalty will be rolled back through next year. It comes back in 2005. The tax on dividends will drop, but Coffee says you'll only notice that if you own a lot of stocks. Finally, the federal tax money taken out of your paycheck will go down immediately. If you're not married, don't have kids, and don't own stocks, that's about the only extra money you'll get. Probably not going to see too much. Um, you may see uh, in some of the withholding reductions, you may notice your paychecks a few dollars more than what it was. And Coffee says more than a million people in Illinois can expect a child tax credit check in the mail. Danny? Thanks, Pat. Business owners in Illinois may soon get another tax break if a piece of legislation passes. According to a new bill, businesses that get state tax breaks and other deals to start up in Illinois would have to live up to the deal or lose state aid. It applies to deals worth $75,000 or more. Businesses that fail to create the number of jobs or make investments promised in the deal would not get additional state assistance. The bill passed the Senate today. A federal judge denies a request to put extra eyes on Ingersoll employee retirement benefits. The lawsuit was filed to appoint a special committee to oversee retirees' pensions, health, and life insurance. The judge says so far the company hasn't proposed to modify retirement benefits, but the oversight committee idea could come up again later. Ingersoll filed for bankruptcy in April, about a week after it shut down its Rockford plant. Only a day after a public plea for marketing money, Rockford Airport administrators announced a progress report already. Between businesses and private donations, there's been more than $29,000 collected. That's $7,000 more than before yesterday's news conference. The money will be used to advertise airline service from Rockford, but the airline involved won't make its commitment to Rockford unless the community can come up with $250,000 by June 15th. Flights to Las Vegas and Orlando could start this fall, if the deal goes through, to make a donation, send a check to the Greater Rockford Airport Authority, 60 Airport Drive in Rockford, 61109. As the weather warms and more people get ready to put their boats in the water, the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department wants you to do a safety check. They're also warning people to pay attention to what they're doing, as well as what's going on around them. 13 News reporter Katie Nilsson joins us now from the newsroom with more. Katie? Well, Eric and Danny, there were around 400 people using the Rock River over this past Memorial Day holiday weekend. But the Sheriff's Department wants you to know that before you have your boat out for the season, you should follow these safety tips. Uh, the department warns people to check safety equipment as well as batteries and boat hoses. You should also be aware of the rules and regulations out there on the waterways. Sergeant Stephen DePau urges people not to drink too much and get behind the wheel. It's legal to operate your boat while you're consuming alcohol. Where it becomes illegal is to operate your boat while you're under the influence of alcohol. 
Nadapao says to protect yourself from thefts, you should take the keys out of the ignition of your boat. Make sure that it's secured tightly to a dock. You can also lock your boat lift. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Katie Nilsson. Eric and Danny, back to you. All right, Katie, thanks for those tips. A Loves Park woman sits on her backyard deck to enjoy yesterday's sunshine, but gets a wild surprise. A coyote found its way onto her deck. 13 News reporter Michael Bourne has the story. A quiet neighborhood like this is probably the last place you'd expect to see a coyote. It's definitely the last place Wendy right Beggs expected table, to see one, right on especially on her backyard deck. deck. It wasn't an animal that I'd seen before or unlike an, any animal I'd ever seen before. And I was just startled that it could cost, possibly be harmed and might be very unhappy of my presence around him. She had just put her two-year-old daughter to sleep when she went out to the deck and saw the coyote. She didn't recognize it at first, but knew it wasn't someone's pet dog. Have I have never been pet? that close to a wild animal before in my life. And to have that type of eye contact, I, um, I really prefer not to again. After realizing this was a wild animal, she slowly made her way inside and called Winnebago Animal Services. They determined the animal was sick. Experts believe it could have a canine virus called distemper, which causes sores to develop on the animal's foot pads. Just like the, the common house dog, domesticated house dog, your pet, uh, distemper is a common, canine distemper is common throughout um, in the wild too as well. So a lot of coyotes actually will get that. Eric Bednar is a natural resource technician for the Winnebago County Forest Preserves. He believes the coyote wound up in Begg's backyard because development is forcing them to find food away from wooded areas. Um, it's not uncommon to see them, you know, move into areas at nighttime into residential areas and, and you know, and catch small mammals and rabbits. For Rockford's News Leader, Michael Bourne, 13 News. According to Bednar, coyotes are, for the most part, afraid of humans and will avoid them at all costs. With the start of summer vacation about a week away, the Rockford Public Library got into the spirit of summer by kicking off its summer reading club. This year, the library teamed up with the Burpee Museum to promote the club. That'll allow the kids involved in the club to use Burpee's celebrity dinosaur, Jane, to help kids improve their reading skills over the summer. Mayor Doug Scott joined in on today's festivities. Here's a look at what we're working on for 13 News 10 at 10. A local organization launches a campaign to help raise money. SARS spreads to another nation in Asia, and a 13-year-old faces a felony charge after reenacting a scene from an MTV movie. Join us for these stories and more tonight on 13 News 10 at 10, complete with 10 minutes of nonstop news. The Rockford Park District's main attraction opens its doors to splash into summer. Today, magic waters opened up for the summer season. Local kids took advantage of today's warm temperatures and sunshine early on before afternoon clouds and rain rolled in. There are a few changes this year. The wave pool is now six feet deep and has a new liner. That's so lifeguards can keep an eye on swimmers. Magic waters is open daily from now through Labor Day. Won't be long before every seat at Magic Waters, all those chairs, there were a few mm -hmm. empty chairs there in that video, but won't be long before they are packed, jam-packed with people. Can't blame people for not really wanting to go to a wave pool today with some spring showers in Stand our Stand outside midst. this afternoon and get wet anyway, whether <laughs> you go in the pool or not. Nate has been, uh, t told us yesterday that they were on the way and we'll uh, see, I think the last time I checked it was still raining a little bit out there, Nate, wasn't it? Yeah, there's actually one little thunderstorm left over German Valley at this time that may slide down towards Adeline. But as they move to the south, they've been weakening. Here's a, a review of the storms over the past six hours or so with uh, the Genesis system. And they've been moving basically from north to south and then turning a little bit to the east. But you can see some heavy stuff went right over to Kalb and Boone County and just clipped uh, Winnebago County where some hail was reported and wind damage in Boone County. And then a tornado was reported in southeast DeKalb County near Cortland. So kind of rough, but we're done with it. Temperatures on the rebound back up to 67. Still a north wind at 13, but those winds will actually increase as we get into the evening. We have the northwest at 20 by 9, and eventually we're on our way down to 6, 51 degrees. Tomorrow's looking great, but uh, we have another storm that's up there, and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Eric and Danny. All right, All right Nate, thanks, we'll see you Nate. then. Also coming up on 13 News at 6, celebrations on the world's tallest mountain turned sour after a helicopter transporting climbers takes a deadly turn. And the first lawsuit filed over that Florida cruise ship explosion. More on that when we cover your world after the break. You're watching Rockford's News Leader 13 News with Eric Wilson, Danny Maxwell, Chief Meteorologist Nate Higgins, and Sports Director Kevin Burns. 
style, design, fashion. The very latest at American for Your Home. From Lexington's Bob Timberlake to Tommy Bahama, Susan Sargent to Eddie Bauer Lifestyle, our designer collections offer you one of the finest selections of fresh and exciting looking furniture anywhere. And at American, you'll find the low price on furniture every day. Lots of styles also include no money down, no interest financing for up to two full years. American for your home. Real down to earth. Friendly people. Got a big selection. I like the variety and the price. Everything's very reasonable. And they had just the one I needed and it was on sale. They have everything. Lane's Farm and Fleet has the Schumacher Farm and Ranch 23010 battery charger, $84.99. Choose from a variety of valley hitches and towing accessories, now 15% off. And get BF Goodrich Control TA M80 all season radios, priced from $51.99. I think it's the best place to shop for it. When it comes to home furnishings, we do have everything. I really think that no matter what a customer is looking for, we should be able to help them. Whether you're traditional or classic, contemporary, we have all the different designs, different qualities, and different prices. It's about finding the right thing for you because it makes you feel good. And that's what it's all about, feeling good. What makes us different? We encourage all of our customers to compare our Simply Amish furnishings. You will see features such as dovetail joints on all four sides, MROC hinges and hardware, five-piece construction on our raised panel doors, and a resist of our finish to keep that natural wood beauty. When you buy Simply Amish furnishings, you get more value for your dollar, and your furniture will last a lifetime. Visit Amish Furniture Specialties just off Harrison behind Culver's. 13 WREX, Rockford's first digital television station. The manhunt is over, and a serial killer suspect is back in Louisiana. Baton Rouge is where we begin covering your world. Derek Todd Lee was arrested in Atlanta last night. He did not fight his return to Louisiana. Investigators say DNA evidence links Lee to at least five murdered women. He's also a suspect in a sixth killing more than a decade ago and the disappearance of another woman, all in southern Louisiana. Police think the 34-year-old left the state earlier this month after giving them a DNA sample. Lee was tracked from Chicago to Atlanta. A fifth crew member is dead after that cruise ship boiler explosion. Another man hurt in the blast is suing Norwegian Cruise Lines, the ship's owner. He wants a billion dollars. The man is a cook who says he was in a shower above the engine room when the boiler blew. Steam burned his arms, legs, and face. A helicopter flying to pick up climbers crashes at the base of the world's tallest mountain. This is video. You can see the helicopter disappear behind a hill near Mount Everest. Seconds later, pieces of the chopper go flying through the air. Two people are dead, six more hurt. Investigators don't know what caused the crash. Tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of the first climb to the top of Everest. Things were a little stormy this afternoon here in the area, and Nate Higgins will have an update on the storms and what we can expect overnight and into tomorrow morning and the next seven days after this. Stay here. The two-hour dateline every Friday. Imprisoned for years on death row for a murder he says he didn't commit until a promise to this dead man walking brings a cold case to life. Did someone else do it? A two-hour dateline on NBC. Fight the costs of cooling with a high-efficiency Amana air conditioner, Richard J. Bowers Company. Their dedicated staff has been serving the state line area with personalized service since 1952. In that time, the Richard J. Bowers Company has installed thousands of high-efficiency Amana air conditioning units, offering a higher standard of comfort and dependability, backed up by a five-year warranty on all parts and convenient one-day installation. I'm Dick Bowers. Call me for your personalized cooling estimate today. It's time for spring, so get to Tyler's Nursery, where color is in bloom. At Tyler's, you can find a wide variety of perennials, trees, or shrubs for your garden. Impatience, geraniums, begonias, petunias, they're all here, and we have only the highest quality of plants for you to choose from. Show off your green thumb by dressing up your garden or yard with beautiful flowers and plants from Tyler's. Begin your spring planting today at Tyler's Nursery, 6701 North Main Street on Route 2, just north of Riverside. 
It's no fable. The wise patient shopper only moves fast when they can get the most for their money. That's certainly the story at Furniture Row Outlets. The more you buy, the more you save event. Now through Tuesday, June 3rd only, buy three pieces and save 3%. Buy four pieces and save 4%. Up to 10 pieces and get a savings of 10% off our already guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, we're also offering no payments and no interest for one full year. Don't move slow. Furniture Row Outlets, the more you buy, the more you save event ends on Tuesday, June 3rd. Come to where the cars are. Dodge City Rochelle has the cars you want at the prices that'll keep you coming back. Check these out. 03 Caravan SE is $18,990. Stratus SXT loaded is $13,990 at Dodge City. Intrepid SE is $17,990. Well equipped. A popular Neon SXT loaded is $12,590. At Dodge City, we know trucks. Drive home a 2003 Ram 1500 with a V8 Auto and Air is 17799 Or a Ram 2500 Quad Cab SLT with a powerful diesel is $29,990. We have 30 Ram 2500s and 3500s in stock right now. Come see for yourself. It's all going on now at Dodge City Rochelle, your truck headquarters. This portion of 13 News is brought to you by Nike New Home Sewing Center. It was a little bit rough earlier. We actually had a severe thunderstorm watch for our area for just a couple of hours, but most of the stuff is pushed off to the east, and there's what's left of it. Still some showers in Woodstock and Harvard over in McHenry County, but no severe weather out of that stuff. And then one lone cell right there in Ogle County, and that's, we're going to pop down there real quick. It just went right over German Valley. It's not strong or, or severe or anything like that, but it's the only one we have left in our area, so we'll get closer to it. So you can see Leaf River, it's knocking on your door. It might slide down toward Mount Morris and Oregon in the next uh, 20, 30 minutes, if, it's, if it holds together. It, these things, as they've been pushing to the south, have been weakening, so just one little cell just left. Uh, so quick shower in Leaf River. They've, these storms have been moving to the south pretty quickly. And tonight, we have the Riverhawks game, which starts in about 45 minutes or so. So if you're headed out to that, things are looking pretty good. There's home plate right there. Pretty cool. There's the rest of the field. Anyway, 70 by the time the game starts. I think temperatures will go up just a little bit more now that we see more sunshine coming in. And then by the time we get to 10 o'clock, we'll be looking at a temperature of 61. Now, the winds will be an issue. They'll be out of the northwest, 26 at 7, and then out of the northwest at 18 by 10 o'clock. So a little bit cool by the end of the game. Uh, as I mentioned, it starts at 7.05. Kevin Burns, that's his territory, so he'll talk more about that. But one thing I can tell you about the weather is uh, the winds are going to be blowing in. So home runs, not exactly very likely if the winds stay up like they are. Uh, we have 73 in Freeport, 68 in Rochelle. So much cooler on the east side, much warmer on the west side where uh, the showers really didn't have any effect over there. They saw lots of sunshine. We have 67, so our temperatures have gone up about 3 degrees since 5. 79% humidity, that's pretty high. Dew point is 60. We don't see that too often. But that dew point's going to crash later on tonight. We'll be down to 60 by 9 o'clock here in the city of Rockford. There's the review of the storms, and they're all going away. So that's good. If we look up there, we don't see much more coming. That's a good sign. So we'll clear things out this evening. Off to the west, you see those clouds develop in the afternoon right over here. We may see a few of those tomorrow, but other than that, it should be a pretty quiet day for Thursday. But there's another system up there. But these are the kind of the temperatures we're looking at for tomorrow. They're going to warm right back up because this is not a very strong system. High pressure back off to the west. That's going to slide back into the central plains, clear things out like a big vacuum cleaner. But you can see that little red line right there. That's the beginning of a warm front, and that's going to be the sign of the start of the next storm that's coming through. And that one is scheduled to arrive during the afternoon on Friday. So basically a repeat of today is what it looks like for Friday. So enjoy Thursday. A little rough Friday, and then we get the weekend to take things off as far as bad weather goes. 51 for the overnight low tonight. Northwest winds still a little breezy. And then tomorrow, we'll be back up to 77. So another fine day for Thursday. Northwest winds continue. And then looking past that, we warm it up just a little bit more for Friday, bringing the chance of a thunderstorm late on Friday afternoon. And then uh, we get breezy and cooler. Maybe overnight lows returning to the 40s, uh, Saturday night and Sunday night. And highs only around 70 for both days, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but those lows for cold. the weekend are going to probably feel really cold to well, us now. Well, just sleep in Sunday. That's how you solve that problem. There you go. You know? Then we won't have Kinda to like deal with it. Daily plan. <laughs> What's your theory? Like Five thirty on Sunday morning. Okay, I'm lying. Yeah. No, he doesn't. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nate. Yep. It's time for our weekly installment of the Garden Guide. This week, Barb Larson shows us how to get rid of spring flowers that have already blossomed. One of the more common questions I get is, what do I do with the tulips after the flowers are gone? Same question can be said of daffodils um, and other kinds of spring blooming flowers. A lot of people question whether or not they should even leave this part up, but what we want to do is cut back the flower stems uh, down to the leaves 
And then the more important thing is we need to leave the leaves. Now the problem is, is in the garden, the leaves really get pretty ugly as they kind of die back, but they're extremely important because the leaves have to photosynthesize to produce the sugars and the starches so that the bulb will rebuild itself. So next year you'll have those beautiful tulips or daffodils again. So trim off the flower heads and then leave the leaves until they completely die back to yellow or brown. And that way you can have tulips year after year and have a pretty garden. The Garden Guide, brought to you by Tyler's Nursery and Landscaping. Just ahead in sports, the Cubs try to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Pittsburgh Pirates. 13 Sports Director Kevin Burns is here with more. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Eric. Danny, after a successful road trip, the Cubs have seemed to have forgotten about home field advantage. They wrapped up their series this afternoon with Pittsburgh and meet our Athlete of the Week. That's coming up next in sports. Now you can embroider the magic. The new Brother Disney Home Collection sewing and embroidery machines come with built-in designs featuring some of your favorite Disney characters. To create a gift that will last a lifetime, visit your nearest authorized Brother Paysetter dealer. Open the door to a world of enchanted embroidery. The Disney Home Collection, only from Brother. Available exclusively at Necky New Home Sewing Center on East State Street at Newtown Drive in Rockford. When you're shopping for a new car, you want great selection, great prices, and great people who make the whole thing easy. At Brian Bemis Auto Mall in Oregon, we are your one-stop shop. Right now, you can take advantage of big rebates on select models, like a 2003 Dodge Dakota is $12,395 after a huge $3,000 rebate, or drive home a 2003 Dodge Stratus SXT for $14,495 after a $3,000 rebate. The popular 2003 Jeep Liberty Sport is $17,395 at Brian Bemis Auto Mall. Don't wait. Hurry in while our selection is best. Brian Bemis Auto Mall in Oregon. Great people, great prices. Check, check. Hello, Chicago! Hello, Chicago. Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to poke off? What's up, Chicago? The bishop in the house. Make some noise. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest city in the whole world. This is another song about my ex-husband. Buenas noches, Chicago. Good night, Chicago. All right. Thank you, Chicago. All the best brands, all the latest styles are on sale now during the memorial sale at Carpet One. Carpet from $1.48 a square foot includes free pad. Quick step laminate from $1.59 a square foot. Vinyl just 69 cents a square foot. See the newest carpet, vinyl, laminate, hardwood, and ceramic tile in our newly remodeled showrooms. Plus no payments and no interest for one year. You can be sure when it comes to flooring, nobody does it better than Carpet One Flooring Centers. This portion of 13 News is brought to you by OSF St. Anthony Medical Center. An upset win at the Guilford Tennis Sectionals gives one Viking the recognition he's been working for all year. Jay Fields has more with our Athlete of the Week. It's more than just a passion for the game that drives sectional tennis champ Alex Weber. It's a family affair. Al's a player I've known since he was a little kid because I was given lessons at Springbrook Swim Club years ago. And even his big brother, Chris, I knew him since he was a little kid. So I've known him a long time. And his sister played for Guilford and Al and Chris and their little brother. So it's the most prolific tennis family in Guilford tennis history. There's four kids. And uh, he's hardworking. Uh, tennis is the only sport he's involved in, as far as I know. And he just puts 100% of his effort into tennis. And it's a year-round sport for him and he betters himself every year. With a win over teammate Bobby Howard, Weber stepped out of the shadows and into the spotlight with the sectional singles title. Al really wanted this title. He's been, you know, maybe the left out guy in the tournament our, our, in, for our team. Our doubles teams are excellent. We've got super doubles, and I knew they would come in first and second. Uh, Al had a, a, a tough road to get to the finals. He wasn't seated in the top four. He beat this kid from Columbia, who was the seed. Then he beats the second seed, Robbie Young, who was the conference runner-up at number one singles. And then he beats Bobby, who was the singles conference champ. Yeah, it was, it was really tough to consider, but um, we swept it, so I was, it was that we all made finals, and we're all going to do pretty well at state. Weber's first state finals match will be on Thursday against Ryan Schick from Charleston in Arlington Heights. 
For Rockford's news leader, Jay Fields, 13 Sports. Congratulations to Guilford tennis player Alex Weber for being named 13 WREX OSF St. Anthony Medical Center Athlete of the Week. The Cubs were trying to avoid the sweep at Wrigley, taking on Pittsburgh. 2-0 Pirates in the second. Damian Miller hits a screamer that gets out of the ballpark. The home run is a three-run variety, makes it 3-2 Cubs. Bottom of the fourth, Alex Gonzalez goes deep. This one a two-run shot, his fifth of the year, 5-2 Cubs, and they hold on. The 5-4 win, Mark Pryor struck out 8-7 and seven and two-thirds for his sixth win of the season. And speaking of baseball, Rockford Riverhawks send Scott Subkoviak, a former Atlanta Braves pitcher, to the mound tonight. 7-0-5 start against the Gateway Grizzlies. Dominate is the key word for the That's their Riverhawks motto this year, huh? This year, and so we'll see tonight. See That's if they can it. keep to that goal. Thanks, Kevin. Right, thanks, Kevin. Still to come on Rockford's News Leader, we'll have a final look at weather and your lottery numbers. Stay here. So it should be okay if somebody wants to go out to the Riverhawks game tonight. Yeah, Open actually, if we can go to Live Power Doppler, I'll show you the one thunderstorm that we still have hanging out. And there she is, just north of uh, Oregon and uh, just to the east of Mount Morris. It's not very strong, but it'll be fast moving. It's the last one we see for a while. Um, and then the extended looking pretty good. We're going to still stay warm. 77 tomorrow. Gorgeous Thursday. Friday, kind of a repeat of today, but we get up to 79. And then we cool it off and the breezes come back to town. The cool breezes for the weekend. Still not bad, around 70 and 68. Right, Kevin, bring us back some nachos from the game, would you? <laughs> I don't eat them all. Go Riverhawks, dominate. Have a good night. Stay safe. It started as an idea.